Yeah, I was excited to get back out there. You know, you spend all offseason lifting and running and preparing for uh, fall camp, and uh, it's finally here. So as an offense, we're excited to prove uh, what we can do and what we've been working on and uh, just uh, improving each day. No, it's the best. I mean, you know what? And I guarantee you could just change my shirt and in my face, and the coaches are all saying the same thing. This is what we love to do. I mean, you know, we love spending time with the media, right? We, we love fundraising. <laughs> we love all that stuff, but we love coaching football. You know what I'm saying? It's This is fun. You get to get out there. You get to be with the boys and get to coach them up. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's a simple game, and uh, being out here is, is, is the most important thing. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. I remember the last two years I had, Luckily, we're not in Neely anymore, but it's going to be tough. I'm expecting to be sore and all that when it's done, but I expect to learn a lot. Just attention to detail, doing the little things right. You know, the greatest thing about football is there's no magic in being successful. It's creating a plan, holding everybody accountable to that plan, making sure you're, you're taking care of the details. You're doing a great uh, job of communicating on a daily basis. And, you know, you're lifting right, you're eating right, you're taking care of school, you're practicing with a high level of energy. You, your coaches are doing a good job, you know, this afternoon of cleaning things up and moving on to that next practice so you continue to improve. So it, it's just a process you focus on. And you know, we, have, we have high expectations, but like I told the guys, we went through our team goals last night. It was the first thing we did in the team meeting. Then I told them we're not going to talk about goals the rest of the year. We have one goal. It's 1-0. and oh. It's not going to be any bigger than that. You, you accomplish that, then you move on to the second one. feel good not being a new pup, i tell you that. Coming in your freshman year, you don't know too much. So you out there, you running around. But being out here, knowing what to do, you, things slowing down for me, moving a lot faster on the field. I'm making a lot more plays, so that's always good. And that's really when more learning can take place, right? Yeah, when you're yeah. calm and you're obviously taking it. Yeah, like especially when I'm especially when I'm teaching the new freshmen, I'm I'm telling them stuff and I'm thinking in my head like, oh, some new ways to do some stuff a lot better, make things a lot more efficient couple really important things that I want to be able to make a quarterback decision sooner rather than later. It's not really up to me though, it's up to those guys behind center, you know, so I would love in the next, you know, three to four days to be able to sit down as a staff and go, all right, where are we at? You know, we, we have the spring, we have this, we need to see, see some separation. Um, I think we saw some really, you know, different and good things today that are positive, um, but that's a really important thing for us to be able to, to pick that signal call so we can kind of get him the reps that he needs. Uh, so I, I'm just focused on what I can control and that's, uh, you know, I'm out there Mental reps and physical reps, I'm just trying to make the most of them and uh, make the most of my opportunities. And as a unit, uh, we're always pushing each other, whether it's in the film room, on field, or in the weight room. Uh, we're a pretty good close unit, and we always challenge each other to be the best we can be.